Welcome back to this edition of Real Black TV. Today we have a very special guest. He's a member of the Real Black family, filmmaker, actor, and author, Robert X. Goffin, who has a starring role in The Great Debaters, starring Denzel Washington. This is the hot spot. You will enter it at your own risk. Mr. Tosin, what about the debaters from last Don't week? ask a question you already know the answer to. Get up here. You'll be first. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It feels kind of weird to be sitting on this side of the, uh, the camera, but uh, yeah, I'm well, glad to be here. So tell us about your role in The Great Debaters. Well, I play a character named Dunbar Reed, and uh, I was on the debate team last year. Okay. I really want to be on the debate team this year, but I can pretty much give it away that I don't become one of the great debaters in this. Um, I'm, I'm sort of a, a brown-nosing, arrogant-type uh, student, but my, my arrogance isn't like Nate Parker's character in the film. Okay. He plays low. He's actually like the brain. The brain. I'm not so much <laughs> there. I, I probably was an alternate on last year's team, um, from what I can, you know, deduct. But I really want to be on the team, and, you know, Denzel's character kind of cuts me down the size, and that doesn't quite happen, so. Okay. Yeah. Now, you're a native of Philadelphia. City of brotherly love, born and raised. So how did, how, did it, how did it come to be that you're from Philadelphia, and then you end up in a, in a, a starring role with Denzel Washington? Well, you know, uh, supporting, a <laughs> supporting role, but I, you know, I've been doing this since I was a little kid, but this particular project, Denzel was on the Oprah show plugging his book, I guess about a year or so ago, and they talked briefly about the great debaters. So immediately I went to the internet, looked up the information, I said, I gotta be in this film. So I sent off some packages to the main casting director. Didn't really expect to hear from her because she's on the West Coast, I'm on the East Coast. It's very hard for people on the East West Coast to take people seriously. Oh. That mailing address, that postmark is from uh, an opposite coast. So I, I didn't really expect to hear anything from the main casting director, but I did it because I always do it. You just never know. Okay. So I didn't, but lo and behold, my agent, who's based in the Carolinas, calls me out of the blue one day and says, hey, can you be in North Carolina tomorrow to audition for the local casting director for Denzel Washington's The Great Debaters? And I'm like, can I? Uh, duh, of course. So uh, okay. I hopped some buses and some trains and went down there and auditioned and Eventually, I got the call back to read for Denzel himself. Okay. So give us the scoop. How many auditions did you have before you got the call that said, Robert X. Goff and you got the part as Dunbar Reed? Well, the initial audition was just once, and then okay. the call back, I guess, was about a week or two later in Atlanta, actually. And uh, I went in there and read for Denzel just once and got a call, I guess, maybe two or three weeks later. Tell me, it might have been a little longer than that, tell okay. me that I got it. But it was just, you know, one time. Were you nervous auditioning for Denzel? Not at all. Well, see, now my audition, my initial audition was just for the casting director. Right, okay. So uh, he may not know this, but I taped a few different versions of my audition, and uh, I assumed that the casting director sent in the best Okay. The best take. Okay. Um, I'm I'm not the greatest auditionee, but if I get the part, I'm I'm gonna do it. Okay. Um, but going into to read for him, not not nervous at all, okay. not really. And and at the initial audition, there was a young lady there that was very nervous, you know, pacing back and forth. And my friend and I said to her, you know, look, it's it's just Denzel. And she's like, you don't understand. This okay. is Denzel. This is Denzel. But he really, you know, makes you feel comfortable. He's not intimidating at all. When did it hit you, the gravity of the fact that you were going to be in a supporting role co-starring Denzel Washington and Forrest Whitaker? Well, that's an interesting question because a lot of my family members and friends, you know, they said, boy, you're acting really mellow about being in this. But I'm the type of person where I don't really believe something is happening until either it's happening or it's happened. Okay. That's, that's the way I look at things. So even after the first day of, of shooting, it didn't quite hit me that I was working with Academy Award winner Denzel Washington and by default, uh, you know, Forrest Whitaker and, and just a great, great young leading cast. I would say by the second week of, of filming, and, and they were flying me back and forth every few weeks, it started to dawn on me, hey, you know, 
I'm in something really special here. And, and you know, now that the film is, is done and, and I've seen it a few times, now it's really hit me, you know, what I'm in, a Golden Globe nominated film. Now, in addition to your supporting role in The Great Debaters, I know you've done some work in television, produced films, and starred in your own films. So let us know about some of the other projects that you've done before The Great Debaters. Well, my television debut, I guess you could say, was HBO's The Wire a few seasons back. Okay. I, I had a, a, a role on one of the episodes, played a, a crackhead, of course. Um, and uh, I did a movie called Rounding First, which went straight to DVD, but that starred Michael Knight from All My Children, okay. my buddy Matt Boris from Hack, which shot in Philadelphia, yes. uh, Soren Fulton from Thunderbirds, and Sam Semenza from The Sopranos. Okay. And uh, I have a very, 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 very small role in a movie called The Beautiful Ordinary, which premiered at the LA Film Festival in the summer of this year, 2007. Robert, you are a renaissance man. In addition to acting and being a director, being a filmmaker, you're also an author. So tell us about your book. Yeah, I, you know, I feel like you, you really need to know how to do it all in this business. And, and so I act, sing, write, produce, direct, you know, the whole nine yards. My book is called Abandoning Adam, Confessions of an HBCU Scholar, Historically Black College. Okay. And it's about a young man who happens to be a filmmaker, a film student, who is fighting the the pressures at his school, fighting the administration. You know, it's it's really a coming of age story for, for everyone, not just minorities. And uh, it is slightly reminiscent of some of my experiences and some of the experiences of friends of mine and okay. strangers. Okay. Now, Robert, you're so modest. Robert has won so many awards from the Philadelphia Film Commission. Tell us about all the awards you've won. Well. Earlier this year, I won the uh, second place Parisi Award for Best Screenwriter, 25 years old and younger. Thank you. Okay. And uh, that was for a screenplay I wrote called Between Midnight and Morning. Okay. About morning, M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G. Okay. Uh, about a young man who was uh, about to graduate high school, and he's marked by a gang a few days before his graduation. Okay. And Academy Award nominated screenwriter Stephen Ravel, who wrote Ali. Okay. Uh, presented me with the award. He's the, the award sponsor. So that, that was, I would say that's that and, and the great debaters are the highlights of, of my year. Okay. You are young in the business, 25 years old. You, yeah. have, you have an impressive track record already. What's in the future for Robert X. Coffin? Well, I do have a short film called Beautiful Man in the Buff that I produced and starred in and wrote earlier this year. Um, my director is Z Hussein, who also did a, a film that I wrote and produced and starred in called Track Marks. And the film is about young Hollywood, basically, about breaking into the business and, and conforming or not conforming to what society and what the industry want you to be. Um, it's, a, it's a very interesting story, and I'm not sure exactly when it will be released, but hopefully sometime in 2008 it will make the film festival circuit. And um, as for everything else, or anything else that I'm into, I'm just doing a lot of writing, uh, looking for that next gig. Just keep your ears and eyes open for Robert X. Golfin. Philadelphia, Robert X. Golfin, co-starring in The Great Debaters, executive yes. producer. Don't by bootleg it. Yes, Don't do bootleg. Do not bootleg. We'll be right back on Real Black TV. Anybody know who Willie Lynch was? Anybody? Raise your hand. He was a vicious slave owner in the West Indies. The slave masters in the colony of Virginia were having trouble controlling their slaves, so they sent for Mr. Lynch to teach them his methods. Keep the slave physically strong, but psychologically weak and dependent on the slave master. Keep the body, take the mind. I and every other professor on this campus are here to help you to find, take back, and keep your righteous mind.